Uh, now to Dinwiddie County and the start of a high profile trial. Former hospital worker Wavy Jones is the first person to be tried in the death of Ivo Otieno. He's charged with involuntary manslaughter after Otieno died in police custody last year there at Central State Hospital. Madison McNamee live in Dinwiddie with how this first day of the trial is unfolding. Jasmine Kurt, this case is really coming down to the question was Ivo Otieno on his back? or on his stomach rather, or on his side when he died at Central State Hospital with both the prosecution and the defense agreeing that if he was on his stomach, that's where criminal charges would be necessary. But the issue here is that's not really clear in the video evidence we have seen in this courtroom so far. So the jury is going to have a big decision to make throughout this week when it comes to listening to the witnesses. Now, Wavy Jones is the only hospital employee still charged in Otiano's death, and his defense says he was trying to actually keep Otieno on his side following hospital policy during that incident. They say Jones was never on top of Otieno, so he could not have suffocated him. The defense actually now saying Otieno died of a cardiac event, but the prosecution not agreeing with that. The Commonwealth and the defense have been using the very same security footage of Otieno on the ground with staff and deputies surrounding him, and they're reading the same hospital policies to back their drastically different cases here. So far, we've heard from hospital employees on the stand who recalled Otieno being combative, while Jones, they say, tried to move him to his side. But the Commonwealth says you have to remember through all of this that Otieno was mentally ill. Otieno's mom was in the courtroom today, emotional, watching the footage of her deceased son. She says she, she says that he was only then put on his side during all of this once he was dead. My son, the way I know him, I was going through all this, but worried about me. Yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of man that he was. I was loving, right. he cared for his family, his brother. He had great friends, he loved people, he genuinely did. Now, Otieno's mom says this case is about bringing justice, making sure people who are a threat to the community are behind bars. They say that's what they want to see happen throughout all of this. They are pushing for the prosecution to have a strong case throughout this tomorrow. This is all going to continue. We're going to hear from more witnesses, and we are anticipating seeing some never-before-released video footage of when Otieno was in the jail before getting sent to Central State Hospital. Of course, we are going to keep you posted as we learn more throughout this week. Live in Dinwiddie, Madison McNamee, 12 on your side. Okay, Matt.